Well, with the fluctuating temperatures, one of Michigan's favorite winter activities, ice fishing, is coming with a risk. Meteorologist Blake Hansen live this morning with safety tips. And Blake, there was dramatic video of an ice rescue last week when temperatures were much colder. That's com completely right, Emily, and that's the thing that people really need to be uh, realizing this week as temperatures uh, fluctuate and are actually much warmer than above average that the ice safety will be at the forefront of any anglers trying to get out to the uh, lake itself. Now, here's the issue as we're going throughout this week. Those temperatures are fluctuating. We're at Stony Lake in Lowell. It's a little too dark right now to give a good, clear picture on how the ice is looking, but it doesn't matter because with these up and down temperatures, even last week with the colder temperatures, there was dramatic video of a 75 year old man falling through his pond on his property. Take a listen. You doing all right? Okay, we're going to get you out. So over the, so this was last Thursday, temperatures were much colder. The 75 year old man fell through the ice. Now, luckily with the quick action of his daughter who was nearby, uh, rescuers were able to uh, get the man out of the water. He was taken to a nearby hospital, but is expected to make a full recovery. Again, with temperatures back and forth this week, here's a good look at some of the ice thickness safety guide, or I should say real quick that we're gonna take a look at Muskegon Lake over the weekend. And you can see some of that water or that ice not looking that safe, especially with water over the ice. Now let's go to the ice thickness safety guide. That's where we kind of have a good guideline of how thick the ice needs to be for you to be safe. Now anything that's less than two inches, that's just a no-go. And generally speaking, around four inches of that ice thickness, that's a good safe measure for ice fishing itself. Anything more than that, I don't think we have that much ice, uh, the thickness at least from at least the last few weeks. But overall, some other things to look for on the ice. Clear ice with a bluish tint, that's usually your stronger ice, and then avoid any milky ice or slush covered ice like kind of that photo at Muskegon Lake over the weekend. So again, fluctuating temperatures this week is just going to lead to more issues on the ice and we don't want to see any more issues like that dramatic video we saw that was in Bath Township near Lansing. Out here at Stony Lake in Lowell, Blake Hansen, 13 on your side. Really fascinating tips. Thanks for that, Blake.